Hey guys, it's Gawain, and today we are going to be taking a look at the sneakiest operator in Rainbow Six Siege, Nook. Nook is a two-speed, two-armor attack operator that specializes in stealth, camera deception, and fragging. She's got a decent primary gadget, decent guns, and good secondary gadgets. Good Nook players will go around the map undetected, making it easy for them to pick off enemies one by one. So let's learn how to play her. Nook is equipped with her Mystery Mitten, of which she gets one on a resource meter. This resource meter lasts for 12 seconds, has a maximum recharge time of 6 seconds, and the gadget cannot be activated if there is less than 25% of the meter remaining. When activated, Nook's Mystery Mitten will make her invisible to camera feeds, similarly to Vigil, and make her completely silent when walking or slower. If you sprint whilst the gadget is active, you will lose your noise reduction effect, but still be invisible to cameras. If you shoot, pull out a frag grenade, move through barbed wire, melee, pull out a goo mine, or anything similar, you will see a yellow glitching effect in your peripherals whilst the gadget is activated. This means you are showing up as distortion glitches on the enemy's camera feeds so that they will know where you are. It's also worth noting that the only camera feeds that display the white bar effect on the bottom of the operator's screen, like when Vigil is close by, are Echo and Mozzie drones, otherwise the camera operator will have no idea you're nearby. I personally use this gadget as much as possible. Once I've destroyed the default cams outside and break down the door I'm pushing through, I activate my Hell Presence Reduction to create no further sound cues for any roaming defenders nearby and to hide myself from any cameras. Using it when moving up staircases, especially ones with cameras watching them like spiral stairs on Consulate, can be great because you're hidden from them completely and sneaking up to where sight is completely undetected. You can toggle this ability on and off, so remember to toggle it on to sneak past a camera and toggle it off again when you're out of view to keep your resource meter as full as possible. One of my favourite ways to use this gadget is to sneak up on enemy roamers because you get to give them a taste of their own medicine. If you know where a Roma is, and have drawn them out without them noticing, then activate your mystery mitten to make no sound cues when sneaking up on them. Nook's gadget is pretty simple. Use it to deceive enemy ears and camera feeds when sneaking around the map and into sight. Just remember that you're not invisible to enemy players, just their cameras. Nook's primary weapon options are the FMG-9 submachine gun and the 612SD shotgun. Her secondary weapon options are the 5.7 USG handgun and the D50 handgun. I personally use the FMG-9 with either of the handguns really, but for the sake of this video I'll choose the D50, also known as the Deagle. The FMG-9 is a pretty decent submachine gun, especially for attack, because it's got a decent damage stat paired with decent fire rate. The only problem with it is the recoil, as Ubisoft decided to remove the foregrips from it for whatever reason. You can get away with the suppressor if you're good at recoil control and want to go super stealthy like I did, but swapping to the flash hider makes it a bit easier to control. I like to use it because of the 1.5x scope and the range it gives me, but her shotgun can also be quite good. The 612 SD is the permanently suppressed version of Ying's shotgun, the 612. It's alright in close quarters, but doesn't have much range to it. If you want to do a stealthy rush, then this will be your best friend, but otherwise I'd advise the FMG-9 due to it being more versatile. As for the Deagle, it's hard-hitting and a fan favourite, but it does have a lot of recoil for a pistol, especially when suppressed, so I actually struggled to get a kill with it, not gonna lie. If you're gonna use it, definitely equip the muzzle brake. The only reason I pick it over the USG is the soft destruction increase to the D50 that you could get creative with, maybe creating holes to thread a frag grenade through. As for the 5.7 USG, it's an easy to use pistol that's quiet when suppressed, so is a good alternative to the Deagle if you can't control its recoil. As for the secondary gadgets, Redacted gets access to two frag grenades, two hard breach charges, or two EMP grenades. I personally use the frag grenades because they're the best secondary gadget in the game on attack, and not many operators have access to them. They can be used for kills, utility clear, and zoning enemies out of a position. There aren't any downsides to frag grenades I find, as they do a bit of everything. As for hard breach charges, they can be good for opening hatches or different entrances to the building, 
but they can be loud and give away your position completely. They're also a bit clunky and don't really fit with Nux playstyle, I find. The impact EMP grenades can be good, but it means you have to play with your team, which I typically don't like to do because they will give away your position when you're trying to be stealthy. I choose the frag grenades, and I recommend you do too. In the droning phase, you want to set up a camera where you intend to push from so you know if any roamers are there and you can be prepared for an early gunfight. Make sure you know where sight is so you can try and avoid that in the action phase whilst you clear roamers, but mostly make sure that your drone stays alive or at least tells you that there's someone nearby to where you're pushing from. To start the action phase, drone yourself into the building further and activate your mystery mitten when going in. You can either keep on going and try to find enemies, or drone around the floors that site isn't on to try and locate enemies. Once you have located one, activate your gadget again and hunt them down to hopefully get a kill. I find that Nook is another character that doesn't get any value unless she gets kills, because what's the point in hiding from all the cameras if you aren't capitalising on that? Once you've gotten a pick or two, then that's when your job is done. Make your way to sight and grenade any deployable shields or other bulletproof utility to flush enemies out of hiding or just destroy utility. Drone even more if you need to, but other than that, be aggressive and swing sight and take gunfights as you are an entry fragger even if you are a stealthy one. Cover your teammate that is planting if necessary and keep activating your gadget when possible so that any cams in sight won't know your exact position, making it easy for you to get the final kill. My only tips for the action phase are drone when you aren't sure where anyone is and have trigger discipline when sneaking up on someone because otherwise they may turn around and kill you with a headshot if you whiff. Nook has a few counters. Lesion, Ella, Capcan, Malusi, Thorn, Proximity Alarms, Barbed Wire, Pulse, and Solace. Lesion, Ella, Capcan, Malusi, Thorn, Proximity Alarms, and Barbed Wire are all the same to Nook, as they will reveal her position to the enemy, ruining her stealthy push. The only thing you can do for most of these is drone them out and avoid them as best as possible, otherwise just be ready to get swung by an enemy. As for Pulse, he is able to detect your heartbeat even when your gadget is active, because your heart still beats when deceiving camera feeds. There isn't much you can do about this other than droning him and winning the gunfight. Finally, Solace can detect when your gadget is active, also giving away your position, but you won't be able to drone her as easily as she can see when those are active too. The only thing you can do is keep your gadget off for as long as possible and win the gunfight. Activate your mystery mitten when pushing into the building so that enemies will hopefully never know when you entered, catching roamers and anyone on sight by surprise when you kill them. Use the FMG9 for a good submachine gun that can kill enemies quickly and relatively quietly, especially if you have the suppressor equipped. Don't destroy cameras when sneaking past them, so defenders can't tell where you're pushing from, as they will assume if a camera is still up that no one has gone past it. Use the 612SD for the best stealth rush strategy in Siege, as you can pretty much two-tap anyone if your aim is good of course. Be sneaky. If you're just going to rush onto site, make a load of noise and die, then you may as well play Ash. Use your gadget, be slow and calculated, and take enemies by surprise. Overall, Nook is a middle-of-the-road operator in terms of difficulty in my opinion. Whilst her kit is relatively easy to use, the FMG9 can be hard to control sometimes and you need to get kills to get value on this character, so this is one for you aimers out there. Learn how to move around the map undetected, how to control the FMG9, when to drone, and you are sure to become a pretty decent Nook player. Thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed. If you found this guide helpful in any way shape or form, please do consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends as that does help grow the channel which is very much appreciated. As always, pretty much all of the clips you saw in this video were taken from my Twitch stream, link will be on screen and in the description. Echo will be next for the Siege series and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.